right, so this is the second part of, uh, or actually this is the third part of the video. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a time lapse to show uh, what goes on because it takes quite a bit of time to do this part. Uh, I got my trailer set up disconnected here uh, with the winch on it that I did a video on earlier, the Warren winch. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skid those logs over here and then I'll start loading them. So uh, right here is where I'll stop and uh, I'll resume with the time lapse. I'm at a spot now where I'm I'm actually full on logs here before I can skid the, the last log over. So what I'm going to do is actually do a time lapse on how I load the stuff on the trailer. So um, this is kind of a, a version 2.5. Uh, it works a little bit bigger, a little bit better on the bigger trailer. Uh, I haven't shown that video yet. Um, that'll that'll be coming here probably in another another month or so. Uh, but for right now, I'll show you. A, the new method I'm using for getting it on the little trailer here, uh, it seems to work pretty good. So I'll go ahead and resume with another time lapse uh, showing loading your logs onto the small trailer. Okay, so uh, that's all there is uh, for log loading. You can see it went on pretty easy. I don't, I don't even think I broke a sweat putting those three logs on. Uh, the old method that I used in one of my pre previous videos with the come along is a hundred times more work. So I got these three big old logs put on there, um, and I'm thinking I'm going to cut one more tree down and fill this trailer up before the end of the day so i got a full load to work on so like i said that's it for uh for log loading um and the whole uh logging series uh I'll probably come back or come back with another video here um before too long on uh, another project i'm working on i just got a 26 foot trailer uh it's going to be a solar kiln for for uh, drying wood. If you're interested in kind of researching it before the video comes out, uh, there there's a design 
uh, by v Virginia Tech University on solar kilns. So got a 26 foot uh, trailer, dual axle, 5,200 ax 5, pound axles. Uh, I've already started milling the wood for it. So that'll be uh, probably the next video. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Hopefully it's helpful. I know uh, if you're interested in doing something like this, uh, it's much, much easier doing it this way than trying to muscle everything on there, especially when you're doing it by yourself. So I will see you on the next video.